A brand new phone is released by a brand new company, the Essential Phone. Surprisingly, this phone is brought to us by a person who created Android, the most used operating system in the mobile market. It's finally available for release, with the outstanding screen and the beginning of a modular ecosystem. With these features, will this be the game changer in the world of mobile phones? I'm Usneer Ahmed and you are watching the Tech In Depth series episode 6. Stay tuned. I said this phone is brought to us by a person who created Android, Andy Rubin, the person who developed Android for the first time and sold it to Google. The main purpose of this system was making cameras to work. But later when Google bought it, Google began to use it for mobile phones. But the Android maker has opened its own company, the Essential Smartphone brand. And it has released its first smartphone with some outstanding flagship features. First, the Android phone's basics. The Essential phone cost $699 without a modular camera with a top-of-the-line specs and features. It is commentary features like edge to edge display, like we see in the Mi Mix S8 and G6, but it's better than them. It has a cutout for the camera wrapping around the front facing camera. It's unique take to big screen that makes a phone to stand out. And it's smart too. Often the status bar at the top of the Android phone doesn't fill. And the middle space with the icons, so it's efficient. The screen doesn't leave some bezel at the bottom of the phone. But nevertheless, as close to the whole of front, the phone being displayed I have seen. Essential is launching at the phone in the US to start. It's a phone with the radios that should make it work for the major carriers like AT&T and Verizon, etc. Alongside usual Android flagship internals, it has Qualcomm 835 4GB RAM, 128GB of storage, no SD card extension. It has removed some old junk from 2006, a 3.5mm headphone jack. Who knows 3.5mm headphone jack? Because iPhone don't have one. Essential is clearly planning to releasing a very well made phone. The screen looks very good. It has no aligned logos. It's built with a combination of titanium and ceramic. And the developers say that this phone can resist any type of drop test. It's better than Apple or Samsung builds, according to them. But night hardware isn't all that Android have to come with this phone. The company is planning to build an ecosystem of modular accessories, something that Motorola and LG tried to do before and Google with Project Ara. But all of them didn't go any successful. Essential offers a magnetic strip on the top that allows it to attach many modules like wireless charging module, 3.5mm headphone jack module, 360 camera module, the most famous module is from it. All of these modules can make a phone worthy and juicy. Both connect to the phone with small metal power pins or with a USB type C. Essentially planning hoping they could do somebody in some day. Speaking about the ports, there is no 3.5mm headphone jack I explained before, it's a stupid thing, but it will make port with a dongle in the box. Let's talk about the camera. The Essential phone also has a good take on dual camera systems, it has two 13 megapixel dual cameras. But the fact is, these dual cameras are not RGB sensors. One of them is wide angle RGB sensor found on regular phones. Other one is 13 megapixel monochrome sensor. It's the camera combination we see on Huawei devices like P9 and P10. The, it can be combined with a regular 30 megapixel for better low light shots. The front facing camera shows a little bit difference. It is 8 megapixel sensor which has ability to record 4K videos. Now you can get 4K selfies with this smartphone. It's the best thing for a selfie key. All this sounds great but ignore some key facts in the smartphone space. Apple and Samsung have already dominated the market. Will this smartphone brand will try to make its space in the Android industry? These are my opinions. Tell me your opinions in my comment section below. Subscribe my channel, follow us on social media and our blog.
check out the rest of the channel i upload such videos weekly on this channel thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next video